And here's what the cobbler mix looks like as we're cooking it down. All right, everybody, blue from blue outside here. And in this video, I am going to do a freeze dried cobbler. So what I went and did is I bought blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries. I got two apples and then I got this bag of mixed um, berries, strawberries, blueberries, pitted dark sweet cherries and tart cherries. So three pounds here. I want to see the, we got 12 ounces of the blackberries, 12, 11 ounces of the blueberries, uh, 12 ounces of raspberries and a pound of the strawberries. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the apples and the strawberries and I'm going to blend them up into uh, hopefully like the sauce. And then I'll blend up some of these, not like pulverize them, but give them like break them up a little bit. And then I'm going to cook it all on a skillet or in a pan, whatever. And then um, we'll get it freeze dried from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. It'll be a second for you. Uh, I'm going to clean everything up. I'm going to wash it in apple cider vinegar. And then I will bring everything back when I'm ready to put it in the skillet. Stay with me. All right, everybody. So I got my strawberries and my apples in here. I'm going to go ahead and blend this up. All right. So this is going to be the base for our sauce. I'm not going off any recipe. This is just something I came up with on my own. Okay, so I dumped that into the pan that we're going to reduce it in. Now what I'm doing is I am just throwing a small handful of the mixed berries that I have that are fresh. I'm just slightly doing those. Okay, so that'll break them up, get some of their flavors going too. Alright. So we'll just scrape this all into here. Sorry about the blender being in the way. I'm a lefty, so it's in the way. Alright, so that's our deliciousness. So where I'm getting this idea from is... I haven't I've had MREs and one of my favorite desserts was the cobbler that comes with the MRE heated up with the warrant the MRE heater eat it it was delicious so all right so we're going to go over to the stove and uh, we'll start cooking this down all right so we're at the stove this is our uh, apple strawberry mix I didn't even taste it probably tastes delicious you know what? Let's give it a go, shall we? Biggest spoon ever. That's not bad at all. So it's gonna be a good base. Now we're adding our fresh vegetables or fresh fruit. <laughs> and I'm gonna mash some of it. Turn the heat up to high, try to get this to boil down. I am not planning on adding any sugar to this due to the fact that, you know, sugar doesn't freeze dry very well, which I think is a myth due to the fact that freeze dried candies are the number one things people want to freeze dry. All right, well, I'm going to let this come up to a good temperature, and I will bring you back when I'm ready to add the frozen fruits. Stay with me. Okay, so I've started reducing this, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add the frozen vegetable, or frozen vegetables, frozen fruit to it. Oh, wow, there's some big strawberries in there. Oh, well, we'll cook them down. Okay. The reason why I'm doing fresh and frozen is to show you guys that you can use whatever. So if you find this stuff on sale, you can do whatever. I'm 
just I I also did it for cost effectiveness. All right, so I'm gonna let this simmer and boil and get everything hopefully like cooked and mushy. And uh, I'll bring you guys back when I'm done. Stay with me. All right, so here is the cobbler mix. It's been cooking for about 15 minutes on a medium high heat just to get some of the water out of it. The thickness ain't gonna depend on this right here. It's gonna depend on when you reconstitute it. Um, I'm going to get to let this cool off a little bit, pull it off the uh, stove because stove is holding heat. And I'll get it on the freezer trays and fit them in the freezer and pre-freeze this. And then I will bring you back when it is done. Stay with me. All right, here we go. Three trays of the cobbler mix. We'll get these in the freezer. And get them pre-frozen to throw them in the freeze dryer. Uh, something else I just wanted to quick show you. We freeze dried some mushrooms. And some garlic that we powderized. And some whole garlic. Oh. Yep. And I know what you're thinking. Blue, why is there only three trays? You gotta wait and see. Stay with me, guys. Alright, everybody. The cobbler mix is done. I think we ran into a slight problem about having the tray, it's like stuck to the tray. So, there we go. I've got a metal scraper we'll be able to get it all off there with, but obviously super dry, smells super berry E E. I guess, I don't know. All right, so cobbler, right? So the game plan is I'm going to put them in these small bags. i got six of them, so I'll build a portion out, six. And then the next question is, well, what about, like, the crust or anything? So as you notice, I only had did three trays because I have four trays because I have a medium. of I only did three of the cobbler mix. My other tray, what I did is, so this is based on an MRE cobbler that I have had and the one I had came with an oatmeal cookie well I crumbled the oatmeal cookie up in the cobbler after I heated it up and it was amazing so I freeze dried oatmeal cookies right there okay so that's what our we, I freeze dried them they're extra crunchy actually I don't think they changed a whole lot but uh, it's just the cheap iced oatmeal cookies. And what I'm doing is I'm getting these little snack bags. And I put three in each snack bag. And then I'm just living that, or leaving that little bit of an opening. So I'll fold that out, drop it in my bag. When the O2 absorber goes in, it'll pull the air out in this also as long and as well as the pouch. Okay? Um... Let's get this bagged up, and I will bring you back for a reconstitution. All right, stay with me. Okay, everybody, I'm going to do a reconstitution of the berry cobbler. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I bagged it up, so I just wanted to, you know, kind of do like an actual, like what you would do if you were opening this up. So I got some, it's hot water. Not like boiling, but you know, it's up to whatever you want to do. You could probably do this a cold reconstitution. I didn't. I wanted it warm because I'm trying to recreate uh, an MRE cobbler with the cookies. So got them bagged up. I think I went with I went with bigger bags. I can't remember if I told you guys I went with bigger bags. Uh, labeled it Berry Cobb, and then I do my dates without any lines or dashes or anything so it's just it looks like a serial number so we're going to tear it into this wow those are really difficult to tear huh there's an easy way to fix this carry a knife or scissors okay so there we go 
open it up. Got our cookies for the crust. O2 absorber. Smells good. Got my handy dandy, uh, one of my favorite little coffee mugs in here. So, <clears throat> depending on how thick, I guess, or runny you want this, it depends on how much water you're going to add. So here we go, we got the hot water. I think the hot water works better than cold water. It just melted. Uh, I think I had a little over a cup and a half. Uh, I used about a half a cup. Again, this all depends on what you want. Let's see, I think that's a little too runny for me, but whatever. Everything's kind of reconstituted pretty quick. It definitely looks good. So, take the cookies. And just crumble them up like that. Sprinkle them on top. So, alright. So now you got a camp cobbler. You don't have like a Dutch oven where you don't want to take the time to make one. Or you can just make this out on a hike. Or just put it in your pantry. So. There we go. Let me give it a taste. Definitely want some cookie chunks though. So. There's the bite. Okay. Well. Saying that is amazing is an understatement. But that is really, really good. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy eating this. I'm sorry I can't share unless you come to my house or make this yourself. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Do me a favor. Leave me a comment. The kind of cobbler you would make in freeze-dry. Whether you have a freeze-dryer or not. So, there we go. Uh, there's a couple links in the description. It helped me out if you uh, check them out for me. Appreciate you guys. Until next time, stay safe.